Hello everyone, today I'm just going to be sharing with you a couple of projects that I've been making. Um, the first project I've been making are these decorated pegs, the old-fashioned dolly pegs, and I've, I've done these a couple of times over the years. Um, it's just, it's something quite enjoyable to do. All it is, is the old-fashioned dolly peg, like I said, and I just decorate the top of it with broken bits of jewellery or strangely shaped jewellery that, you know, might be, oops, <laughs> that's the door, awkward to use on um, regular projects. So this is a pair of earrings. Um, this is a pair of earrings that Michelle sent me. And it, they're like a curve, half hoop type of earring. This one is too. You can probably see the shape of it. See how it curves right around. Um, I've done this using broken rings um, before as well. Then I just add whatever I want to paper flowers, silk flowers, pearls, crystals. Um, and I love them. You, you, I use them to put like nice um, special laces around and things like that and then they can just all be hanging there it kind of looks like a little bouquet I was just thinking then how pretty look at that isn't that pretty and they're just um, this one's got some gems in it um, the glue gun I recently got it's the same as my old one but I do find the glue comes out quite quickly so I was seeing a bit of glue so what I've done is I went in between the little grooves afterwards and put a little bit of um, it's not it's stickles stickles and this is the platinum stickles that I like to use and that adds more glitter and glam to it as well so these are the ones I've made and like that's a, an earring on there and I just love them and I think they're ever so pretty. You can give them as gifts and put some seam binding or delicate lace around them or just have them in a bowl on your your desk and you get to see all the, the pretty jewels, you know, instead of it being put away somewhere, you can actually use it. So that's all I've done to those and to to make them all I do is around the top of the peg I put a little bit of ribbon and glue that on just so that um, it's easier to glue everything to it rather than because sometimes these pegs have a polished effect to them so I just find it has a better grip if you do that so that's the first project and um, like I said I, I put, I'll put a link to the previous ones I've made of these as well and the second project I made I thought I'd better show you because I've I actually made a few and I've sent some out already and I thought before the rest of them go I better I better show them to you so these are woven rag bags and I'm sure they've been around for many 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 years but this is the first time I've ever made them and I'll put a link in the description box below to the video I watched um, to see how they were done um, and they made them and put handles on them but I've made them slightly different I've I've woven my fabric strips and I've these organza bags what I've done is I've just put a few a couple of stitches here and a couple of stitches there and I thought I would use them as gift bags so that I can put things inside of the bag like that and then obviously pull that like that and that's a nice little gift. Now I could either, I've made flowers to match although I'd already made this flower, um, I just, I've put the same fabric in the the woven bag. Now I could, once it's filled, I could tie that flower around the top of the bag or um, that's, that's the back of the flower there. I could weave it by taking it and putting it, I usually use a bodkin 
here. I could put that in that way and that in that way and tie it around the bag and have it decorating the bag like that but it's still very removable. Now the idea with this bag which I thought was was really nice and I love the shabby look. I think you're supposed to turn them the other way around see because they're nice and neat but I kind of like that shabby look so I've left it like that and what I thought when a person receives it and it's got a few things inside of it once they take the stuff out you can push the corners of the bag in like that and I see how it goes like that and you can stand it up and if it were me, I would just undo the couple of stitches and um, remove the bag. But you can have it as a little container on your desk or on your, you know, your shelf or something like that and put things in it. If you didn't like the shabby look of it, you could also turn it inside out. And it's just a matter of snipping very you know very carefully but they're only loose stitches and taking that organza bag out then you've got a flower you could pin it to the side or tie it to the side and have a nice bow so that's what I've been making and I thought well I better do a video on it because um, if someone is going to receive one of these I'd like them to know um, how they can use it after they receive it as well. So, you know, it's not just a gift bag. It can also be a practical bag um, to store things in. So I've made that one. And like I said, I've just used very, uh, probably one and a half inch wide strips of fabrics. And a lot of these fabrics are... Michelle sent me. Thank you, Michelle. This particular one was from Louisa. Thank you, Louisa. And some from my stash as well. And, like, I've got a sequin fabric in there. And I just love that little glimpse of sparkle that you can see. I've got organzas in there. I've got a chul, a net chul fabric in there all different kinds I mean this one's actually a stretchy almost like a t-shirt fabric and they just they look really nice together and it was fun it was fun to make so I've got that one that I've made and there's also a larger one that I made and this is a lighter color and I've just made a, a lovely flower and as you can see see there's the bow I've just threaded it through and tied it onto the bag. This bag's actually quite big um, because the bag was a bit too big for the white organza bags but by the time it's got some things in it won't kind of um, it won't look too awkward I don't, <laughs> I don't think um, and like that is just tacked on there as well and that's just it's got a lot of the similar fabrics in here but I've used I've used some maroni kind of colors on this one and I think that's about it so and that's got curtaining fabric in it and embroidery anglaise in it and some white wedding satin in this one and that that's Oh, it's the same as, oh no, it's not. That's a cream and that's a white. Um, but I really, really love the way they turned out. Um, so they're two different sizes. And all I used was, oh, I had this stiff piece of fabric. Uh, I think that was the MBN thing. There's no numbers on that I shouldn't be giving away. And it's just a very simple weaving um I've cut this down now. Um, it, it's a very simple weaving piece of cardboard, but I said I will put that link to that channel where I saw it. Um, but there you go. Uh, probably took about... They got quicker the, the longer I made them, and I made about four or five. I've made five of them. 
these are the last two I've got and I'd say this is the biggest one probably took me about three and a half hours to make which is surprising but then you know I was I wasn't in a hurry or anything and it's the sort of thing you can just make in front of the television if you watch television or were watching videos or just you know um, trying to pass the time of day I did I did use like I said I used this bodkin to do mine it's blunt at this end um, and especially towards the top it can get a bit hard on your fingers um, but it was very easy and that's just the other side of it and you can turn it inside out and have that as the side showing if that's more to your liking okay so there we go there's my little projects that I've been making and I do hope you like them um, take care everybody and I'll be back soon bye bye